Hey everybody, Mr. Bizelot here. I am just doing a quick video. This will probably be about three minutes or less of what's sold on eBay. Uh, we had one Amazon sale for Film Up by Ma uh, Merchant on Amazon, and I just figured I'd go over that. And we have three orders from our Facebook Live auctions. We had a live auction last night. If you are a subscriber, thank you for coming out for the rock and roll posters. And it turned out to be a, a good auction. Uh, I think we did a little over 1500 in three and a half hours. So that is a successful auction for us at 500 bucks an hour. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up and remind you that there are other platforms other than just one or the other if you're on Amazon or eBay. So make sure that you check other ones. So today or last night we sold a Ted Bundy photo, Mr. T, more Ted Bundy. Uh, the guy from, uh, I can't think of the name of the movie. He was, uh, it's, it's Alan Rickman, but he was in the Bruce Willis movie. Can't think of it. <laughs> More movie press stills. Most of these sold anywhere from, some of the Ted Bundy ones did like 30 and $40. But the movie ones were all in the $15, $20 range. Uh, we sold some makeup this morning. <clears throat> Tobe of Hollywood Perfume, some lipstick, Tobe Exuviance, sold a movie poster for $25, The Beast Within, a Andrew Wick rock and roll concert poster, signed and numbered, <laughs> we sold that, I think that sold for $75, and we sold a Stone Temple Pilots Rock and roll concert poster on eBay for, I believe, $60. We had a few. Uh, we had one Amazon sale. Japanese farm food. I think that was $21 for that book. Our cutoff's generally $20. Bucks. We sold an Israel stamp album with a bunch of stamps in it at our Facebook auction. Brought $47. <clears throat> I'm going to walk you guys out here to the front. We sold another Israel stamp album for 44 A at our Facebook auctions. Sometimes we do large lots, so that I just don't know stamps. So <laughs> this is a whole box of Outdoor Life magazines and other magazines from the 1950s, 60s, 70s. So that was all to one customer. That was 110. These other two boxes that you see here were full boxes of vintage magazines and ephemera, and they sold the two boxes and the one tray for $114. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update uh, with the social distancing and everything shutting down. Um, sales are a little slow, not too horrible. I'm um, hoping that they pick up now, since more people are going to be shopping on eBay with Amazon's slowdown on shipping. And, you know, just keep your head up, keep pushing forward, keep listing. Um, in times that you can't really get out and source, the only thing to do is to go through your death pile or your items that, you know, just kind of on the cusp of if you should list them or not, and post them. We're going to keep putting out some content. We are, th I believe, three subscribers away or four subscribers away from a thousand uh, which at that point we're going to start offering out some wholesale lots so you guys will see videos as we post them on wholesale lots that I can make um, I think we're going to do some lots of uh, advertising pinback buttons and like superheroes and rock and roll bands um, I have some movie posters set aside to make some lots of we have rock and roll posters to make lots of um, we're going to try to get some toys together to do lots, and then we're going to do some, you know, some books and, and items like that that we have a decent amount of. So hopefully we have somebody packing. So that's the tape dispenser. Uh, we're going to try to get everything and all this stuff shipped out by lunchtime today, and we are working on, right now, sorting books books and more books we uh, found some media in one of the boxes and these are the old CDs this is how they came in these long 
these incredibly long like cases. So this is a normal CD as you go buy it now. And so just to show you guys, these are all sealed or a lot of them are sealed. <clears throat> so those are kind of neat. And as you guys can see, we are trying to make a dent into the pile of books over there. And then we'll get into ephemera. So we're making book boxes of the stuff that doesn't meet our requirements to go to Amazon. Uh, there's a lot of European history, Holocaust. Um, this whole cart over here is all stuff in foreign languages, so it's really hard to research as far as Amazon goes. Um, but a lot of World War II German and Holocaust type historical books from a professor's estate from, a, I guess he was a professor at Columbia University. So I have to figure out what to do with those. Uh, they are in Polish and I believe Russian and a lot of stuff from Budapest. Hungarian. So and Hungarian, that was the other one. <clears throat> so we have a lot of that stuff. Uh, we just found another box of the stuff from Sears. So these are all like air filters and vacuum bags and belts for snow blowers and lawnmowers and Kenmore electrical plugs for stoves and ranges. Uh, this is all brand new stock, but we're going to uh, put it all as one lot and sell it to somebody on Facebook or somebody else locally. Uh, just not stuff I want to deal with and not worth us sending in or doing. But just wanted to give you guys a heads up. We are pushing forward and I will be making some videos on unboxing um, the glass and pottery, which we have up here in miscellaneous from that one storage unit. I'm gonna to try to clear that out today. So I'll try to make a video of that unboxing in today's, uh, today's schedule. So hopefully everybody is staying safe, you know, go out when you need to. Uh, hopefully everybody's business is going at least somewhere. I know it's tough right now, but if you don't work towards an end goal and you give up, you will never succeed. So hopefully this video finds everyone well. And thank you for all your support. And feel free to comment. Let me know if you saw something in this video that helped your business. This is Mr. Bizelet signing off. Thank you very much.